All right, guys, it's Anthony, G85, uh, Monday. So I'm going to start kind of going in a new little direction a little bit, doing a little bit more moto stuff as I get things in. Uh, so today's spotlight, we're going to do a product spotlight on this company, Crit Machine, because I have a few of their products here. Um, so I've, I've shown this before. This is a tool bag from Trip Machine. Uh, I got turned on to Trip Machine courtesy of John Maxwell. I will link his channel with the video specifically about that. Um, that's how I found out about this. I believe this company is based out of India, but they make pretty fucking good quality shit. So you get nice full grain leather. It says handmade. Uh, this is also a slot right here, so you could put something here. Uh, you get two slots here. These could fit pliers. Relatively nice. Uh, a little bit of an overflow here for uh, some bulkier items here, like pliers and stuff. Dual purpose inserts here, all the way across, and here and here. These would be good for pliers, screwdrivers, and things of that nature. Same thing here, uh, right here. This is most likely meant to be dedicated for your Torx and Allen keys here. Um, I'm still working on my full uh, rollout for my road bag um, <coughs> for this. Uh, you get your nice, really nice, heavy, heavy duty antique brass with some really nice full grain straps here, guys. Uh, but overall, I can't say nothing bad about this particular bag, other than it's a little cumbersome, but the quality is so damn high. I like it. And I've been able to take this before I had saddlebags. And it will go on my forks. Um, so I can carry this with me. So if I need tools. So there's this product. This one was specifically shown by John Maxwell. Along with the second one here. Now this is a unique thing. This is called a leg bag. Or some people call fanny pouch or dad pouch, dad purse, whatever. Goes on your leg. So the way it works is you got your, you got your belt loop hooks here. Your leg goes through here. And back here you have a small storage here where which I would use for documents there's two spots for documentation like you put your stuff in here I would use this one first because it zips and closes as opposed to where the front's just a, a slot and this is your only security and then right here you got a pretty good amount of space in here for whatever you might need this is a great option to have something just to have as storage on your persons if you don't have bags on your bike now they also make the same configuration without all these straps and stuff where it sits like this as a tank bag. So it would sit like on my bike, it would go around right here, somewhere like that. Um, <clears throat> I believe they're used with magnets. Now this thing, before I had bags on my bike, I have used this to do burrito runs and I can fit two to three burritos in this thing comfortably and easily along with the sauces, guys. So this is number two. Uh, this one shows the, the leather work a lot better though. Nice, smooth grained leather. Really nice. I'm not sure how waterproof their stuff is. Um, their saddlebags are made out of this stuff as well, where they're kind of like a waxed canvas. Uh, their saddlebags are weird hybrids. They look like the very old fashioned um, uh, messenger bags, almost to a degree, almost like a suitcase. Now, yes, we're gonna get into the man purse. Now, people make fun of me for having this and I tell them, piss off. This thing is still badass, I don't care. This is their small messenger bag. And this is no longer available in this configuration. This is the one that has the straps full blown riveted here. This strap does not come off. The new design they, re they redid has slots here and here where you can use the strap or you can mount it as a miniature messenger bag on your bike. Um, so you have a slot back here and you have your inside here. You do have a couple of pouches here get right here you have two of these one and one here and then right here this will hold a small tablet it will not hold a laptop that's the only negative on this thing is if it was just a hair bigger in this direction it would be cool it would hold full-blown laptops and tablets you could hold more stuff I do appreciate the new design so you don't have to have a man purse uh, like this but overall I personally don't care um, I've toyed with the idea of cutting the strap off of this more than once, but I can't do it. Also, this olive drab is no longer available. I believe they discontinued this color on a number of their things, but this thing is really nice. I've utilized this for more than one thing. Um, 
I hope they bring it back in the new design. But this is a great product, in my opinion. I don't care if it's a man purse or not. Indiana Jones had a purse and a satchel, whatever you want to call it. So it doesn't really matter. You got to have a way to carry shit. There's that. This is the one I'm disappointed with the most because it is actually the most expensive. Now, this is their backpack saddlebag combo. It's called a Pannier. Really big overall. Nice full blown leather. So you got hooks and straps galore on this thing on both ends for making it, it it is a backpack a true backpack and you got rigging here to strap it to your bike now it was supposed to roll you could roll it up and hang it like this on the side of your bike on the tail end obviously guys for me it doesn't work because my bike is a harley davidson their products on their website everything that they use for uh product mounts on their imaging is done with bikes like uh Royal Edenfield and a lot of off brands that I'm somewhat unfamiliar with. But a lot of the bikes that they are working with are more of the old fashioned bikes or smaller design bikes. They're not, some of their stuff isn't perfect for Harley Davidson um, by any means. But what they do is really good quality work. So even though this doesn't work as a saddlebag for me, this can go on that sissy bar right there like that just fine <laughs> as a nice bike, as a nice sissy bar bag. Um, this thing, I can fit three days to five days worth of clothes in here easily, comfortably. Or even a 20-pound bag of ice will fit in this thing fully from top to bottom, guys. This is the only thing uh, I, I've utilized off and on just because I can't fit it nowhere on the bike. Uh, because it doesn't work with the way my pipe configuration is, unfortunately. Um, but uh, I will link John Maxwell channel where he was talking about the first two products and i'll link trick machine on there they make a number of other things like toe guards and things like that and leather hand grip mounts and stuff make really good products you just got to be a little bit uh ingenious on how you may use them this one is the one that didn't work for me unfortunately but i still do utilize it guys so trip machine is good quality stuff guys so this is anthony gm85 uh talking about trip machine today not a sponsor i purchased all this myself uh tomorrow we're going to be talking about viking saddlebags and viking products we've got a few of their products as well guys but this is green man 85 catch you guys later